Hey guys and welcome! Today we got some more info on the upcoming class update for Battlefield 2042 directly from the developers in a new podcast and in this video I'm gonna sum up the most important things they were talking about in the first episode but as usual I've also linked everything in the description below so you can have a listen to it yourself if you want to. The podcast is about an hour long and was held by Tom Stratman, one of the community managers, Florian Lebihen, the lead game designer, and Oliver Anderson, one of the software engineers at DICE, and probably well known to everyone who is active on Twitter within the Battlefield community. It was made to extend the communication with the player base and give us more insight on the development process, in addition to the already existing development updates, blog posts, and patch notes. There is a total of seven episodes planned for now, with the next one going live next week already, and that's also what gave away the release date for the class update. They didn't say it specifically, but they confirmed that there will be another episode next week where they talk about the new update, the breakaway rework, the new vault weapons that will be added, and all the gameplay and balance changes that will be made, so I would assume the update is scheduled for next Tuesday, February 31st. In episode number one, however, they were talking about the whole development process around the classes, but also about some of the changes we can expect to see or how some mechanics will work specifically. And one of the first things is that the rocket launchers will be made stronger with the classes. Cause right now they are the weakest they've ever been in the franchise, but only because everyone has access to them with the open system. And of course they had to balance this out against vehicles. The Recall SM5 for example is the most played gadget at the moment and even when only half of the team has it equipped, enemy tanks can't stand a chance anymore. But with the classes, this will change and only the engineers will still have access to all of the rocket launchers, which also means there will be less of them present on the battlefield and in return they have to be a bit stronger. In addition, there will also be some anti-vehicle gadgets added from former titles like the Javelin or the EOD bot and some other things like the Tox or the Tracer Dart that will be accessible with the Recon class. Tanks on the other hand, at least heavy tanks, will then receive the active protection system that only the EBLC RAM has right now and that prevents the vehicle from getting hit by explosives for a short amount of time. This will not get added to light or transport vehicles, but only to the heavy ones like the Tor, M1A5 or T28. Then there were also some changes made to specialists and their abilities and a few of them were already mentioned before but some were explained for the first time today. So we already know that Irish was moved to the support class while Crawford took his place as an engineer instead, but how their abilities and traits will change was not further explained. Now we know that Crawford's turret will be able to deal a little bit of damage to all kinds of vehicles after the update, not only to the light vehicles like it is now and that his passive Ability will be that he can repair vehicles twice as fast as normal when their health is below 25%. In addition, he will also be able to repair allied gadgets like Boris Sentry Turret twice as fast, but all the time and no matter how their health condition is. Irish on the other hand will receive the ability to revive everyone, which is quite an interesting combination with his deployable cover, since he can place cover before going for a revive. And he also receives the trade Crawford had before that allows him to resupply a teammate's gadget ammo when reviving them, so a pretty good fit for the support role. His current ability to pick up armor from downed enemies will then be removed and the only class still able to have armor will be the assault with access to the armor plates. Rao, on the other hand, will stay in the recon class and won't move anywhere, but his current hacking ability will be changed or actually extended, cause whenever he hacks a vehicle it will then also get designated, similar to the Soflam, which means that engineers with the rocket launchers will be able to log onto them. This will make the communication between those classes a lot more direct and offers some interesting gameplay possibilities and actions on this end. They also explained a little more of why they chose the SMG category for the proficiency of the support class, since in all the Battlefield titles the support always had exclusive access to the LMGs. But they've tested it out in 2042 as well and also got feedback from the player base and play testers and found that this combination doesn't fit the new role of the support class very well, cause in 2042 the support is not the heavy guy giving ammo anymore, but instead it's combined with the former medic class who revives people and gives 
system health in the thick of the battle. And that's where fast firing SMGs are a lot more helpful. They also explained the SMG proficiency a bit more and what faster draw time will actually mean. And it means that you will be able to switch faster between gadgets or your secondary weapon and an SMG, which allows you to use the defibrillator for a revive for example, but also quickly switch to your primary weapon to defend yourself. Plus, the defibrillator itself will be manually again, which also means you will be able to kill enemies with it. When it comes to the balance of the proficiencies in general, we can expect them to be helpful but not overpowered, so they will be a motivation to play a specific weapon category, but it shouldn't feel like this is your only choice to be able to compete against other players. And then we've also learned a little bit more about how the med pen will change, which is the class gadget of the assault class, cause right now as an open gadget you can carry three of them with you and can resupply them at any time at med crates, but after the update the med pen will be reduced to only one, so you can heal yourself up one time and then you will have to find a med crate for this. The option to resupply it will still be available though, so it works a bit like the self heal mechanic with the pouches that we had in Battlefield 5. To fit the new class gadget into the game, and especially into the controls, there were also changes made to the button layouts for controller and console, but they were not specifically mentioned yet. There were also some more changes made to the UI of course, in-game and also in the collection screen, and the most interesting for now might be that the loadout tab will be completely removed and with it also all of your loadouts. Instead you will find a new class tab where you have access to your specialists and can also select your weapons and gadgets for the specific class, so loadouts will be bound to classes then. After the update, every player will start with the same four default loadouts and you can then adjust them to your playstyle. In addition, you will also be able to see in the scoreboard how many players play each class for example and a lot more small details, but we will get more info about this next week with a new episode of the podcast and also with the full patch notes. And that's it for today, just a short summary of the most important things that were mentioned in the first episode and like I said at the beginning, if you want to listen to the full podcast yourself, you can find a link to it in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm Catwoman and you are awesome.